So before I want to do the uh, clutch pressure plate install, uh, just one more time, even though you've even probably already cleaned off your flywheel, spray it off with brake cleaner one more time. Um, wipe it down really good. You want a really clean surface so that that grease isn't going to get onto your uh, onto your clutch there. Yeah, it can ruin it for you real quick. So clean off your flywheel again. Just make sure it's clean before you go to install your clutch. Doing the clutch and pressure plate installation here on the Impala, and I bought a new set of ARP pressure plate bolts. And whenever you buy something from ARP, whether that's head, head studs or flywheel bolts, uh, pressure plate bolts, whatever, they're going to give you their own specs that don't meet the manufacturer's standards. They're going to give you their own specs for tightening torque. Now, they always give you the torque with ARP uh, fas fastener assembly lube, and they'll send you that if you buy it in the kit. So use that and go buy ARP's. Uh, recommendations because that's what they do is they make uh, fasteners for this type of uh, situation so uh, my pressure plate bolts are 3 8 inch and so with using ARP lube that's 45 foot pounds so that's pretty simple just uh, follow those steps and I'm gonna get started okay so if you bought a new clutch pressure plate assembly like I did then it should come with this clutch alignment tool. So basically what this tool is, you can kind of see the uh, splines on there. It, uh, it mimics the transmission shaft for you. So instead of having to use the transmission to line up your clutch and pressure plate, what you can do is you can just use this alignment tool and that will essentially allow you to bolt everything in so that when it comes time for the transmission, you don't have to worry about this clutch being in correct alignment because it will already be in alignment. So then you can bolt everything up, torque it up, and then just slide the transmission into place already for you. And it'll ju you just be able to bolt it on and it'll be good to go. Okay, so right now i got the uh, clutch and pressure plate on there. I just have two bolts on it right now, just kind of halfway threaded in, just to hold it in place for me while I get all the other bolts aligned and put in. Uh, but right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the bolts on, washers included with the ARP uh, fastener assembly lubricant, and so I'll get that all put on, get them all hand tightened up at least, uh, so it's all held tight, and then I'll go ahead and start torquing them down. Alright, so I have my bolts all put in place. I have my ARP uh, assembler fastener fastening lube all applied and washers installed and everything. So these are all just hand tight and that way it will hold the clutch disc in place here. And once you get this all turned down so that's all hand tight, all the bolts, can't tighten them anymore with your fingers, then you should be aligned and it should hold your clutch disc in place so I'm able to pull this out fairly easy and it should just slide right back in just like that so the clutch disc should be aligned just like that so that should be good so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start torquing down in a star pattern I'm going to go around basically you want to get this down to torque really even here and so what I've been doing is I've been going in a star pattern and just kind of going about one turn at a time per bolt. So one turn, one turn, one turn, one turn, one turn, one turn. Just just a slow process, and you don't want to get too excited because if you go one side too heavy, what you're going to do is you're going to have this clutch rock to one side, and it's going to be uneven. It's really easy to bend your clutch plate there if you go tighten one side down really tight and then do the other side. So that's why I'm just doing it just a slow process, just in a star pattern, just one turn of the bolt at a time. And just kind of, it's taking a long time because I'm going over it quite a few times. But this way I know it's going to be evenly balanced and I'm not going to bend that clutch plate at all. So I'm just going to. It's just a slow process. I'm taking my time, but I'm just taking it down to that first spot of 15 uh, foot-pounds of torque. And then after that, I'm going to continue the process, at, depending on how much turns it is, to go to 30 and then to 45 foot-pounds. 
All right, and there we go. I went around the whole clutch there uh, two times again at the max torque, 45 uh, foot-pounds. So just to make sure that they were all tight. So uh, as far as I see it, this clutch pressure plate assembly is installed. My uh, clutch alignment tool just popped right out there just real easy. So I'm not too worried about my transmission being able to go right in. So I think uh, that's the next stage, so this should be good. So I'm going to go on to the next stage of putting the transmission in.